Hello everybody, uh, welcome to a quick tutorial by the White Collar Players. Um, we're gonna, so we had this problem personally, and I'm sure a lot of people do, but Far Cry 5 as it comes only gives you one save game, only one save slot, so you can't, so like if I start a game, uh, and then play through a bunch, and then save, and you know, I'm like, oh well I want to change some stuff or do something differently, I can't start a new game, or a new character, or I can't let, you know, a friend play the game on a different save or anything like that and that's really annoying for a lot of people um it is for us personally so we uh found a quick way to uh to switch that up so that we can have multiple save games and we're going to show you how to do that right now uh it does require a little bit of um manual management but that's not a big deal so the first thing that we're going to want to do is disable the synchronization um the save game synchronization to the cloud from the game through ubisoft's uh launcher uh, so what you're going to want to do, if you installed the game through Steam, this should be the correct directory. You're going to go to your C drive, your program files, your uh, then the folder called Ubisoft, and then there'll be one folder in there uh, called Ubisoft Game Launcher. So you're just going to go in there, and then you'll see all this stuff. But what we're interested in right now is uplay.exe. So if we're just going to fire that up, it's going to load. Once it opens, you'll see this main thing. If you have any Uplay games, you'll see them over here. I have Far Cry 3, so that's over there, but uh, Far Cry 5 is the one we're interested in, and it's right there, it's installed. But anyway, what you wanna do is go over here to the, the settings thing on the side. You're gonna click settings, and right under general, you're gonna see um, enable cloud save synchronization for supported games. This is gonna be checked by default, so all you wanna do is uncheck it, um, I'm going to scroll through to show you the other options. These don't really, the, the other things are just personal use, but if you're interested in having the other stuff for your personal use, uh, you can look at this and just compare it to yours and see what we've done. Uh, we disabled a lot of stuff in the network. This, just to reiterate, this is the key part. You need to make sure this is unchecked. That's the important part. Um, and then I'm just going to scroll down so you can see the rest. Uh, we disabled automatic updates and stuff like that. Um, turned off pretty much all the notifications. That's pretty much all there is to it. Um, and that's pretty much it. You don't have to save or anything. It automatically saves. So if you just, you know, go back to games or whatever, it's totally fine. It's good to go. It's saved. Uh, that's all that matters. So you can actually close this now. That's all we, we're done with that. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't have a uh, script today, so I'm a little bit more freeform and rambling. Um, and then uh, once that's done, you just uh, go to this folder called Save Games. You need to do this, by the way, without the game running. You need to make sure you're doing all this without Far Cry 5 actually running. You're just, uh, you know, you can Steam can be open, but the reg the game cannot. You're gonna find a folder, probably not gonna have this exact name, but it's gonna be something like it. Don't worry about it, just leave it the way it is. Then another folder again, uh, doesn't really matter what it is. These are the save files. Uh, this is what tells the game where to save, so right now, we have, this is like the current playthrough that we have going on this channel. This is the save game for that. So all that, all that matters if we wanted to start a new game is what we're going to do is we're going to go back just one folder up and we're just going to create, uh, just to be safe, I'm going to go to the save games folder. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it slot one. doesn't matter. You can name it whatever you want. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to, uh, so normally with these, with these files in, this path, you'll uh, what'll happen is when you go in game, it'll say continue, and then you can resume playing and like normal and stuff like that, right? So what's going to happen is I'm going to cut these out. I'm not going to get rid of them. I'm just going to cut them. Go back to my slot one folder and just paste them in there, just to keep them there. Uh, and then you know that way they're there. And then now go back to this. It's empty. So what'll happen is when I go in game, and I'll show you that in a second. When I go in game, it'll be just like starting a new game. So I'm going to do that, start a new game, and then just show you all that stuff. Okay, so here we are in game. As you can see with those files moved, uh, it's as if we haven't done anything. Even the options are all gonna be default vanilla stuff. Everything's gonna be all the same. As you can see, all this stuff is, uh... oh wait, no, maybe, maybe not. Uh, I think these are the same. Maybe it did save the settings. That'd be kind of cool. I actually kind of like that. Let's see, I'll know for sure real quick. Uh. No, yeah. Oh, no, wait. No, yeah, it totally did. Cool. Uh, the real question is, did it? Yeah, okay, it totally did. Okay, so it saved the settings, that's nice. Um, but as you can see, the gameplay itself is not saved, that's the important part. Uh, so anyway, the game is not saved, so we can fire up a new game, 
and uh, start a new playthrough just like normal, but we still have our slot one save and that'll be perfectly fine and we can load that in anytime we want. I'm not going to start a new game just because I don't want to go through all the videos and all that, but uh, the perp for, I'll show you what'll happen when I'm going to go back to the files here in a second and show you, uh, show you how it would work. But anyway, now you're free to start your new playthrough, your new game or whatever, or let your friend play or whatever. So that's good to go. So I'm going to go back to the files. Okay, so here we are back at the files, and as you can see, these two new files appeared in this directory. Even though I didn't press new game, I just uh, I just loaded up the game. These are already automatically get created, um, just as soon as you load up the game with nothing in here. Uh, so these are essentially the start of your slot two save stuff. But as you keep playing, you'll get more save files. Like in you know in the slot one, I have the two save files. You'll get those as you keep playing and stuff like that. So those will come in later. Uh, but what happens is as soon, in order to properly save your game or whatever, as soon, so say I just started my second playthrough, uh, as I'm playing through, as soon as I quit, I'm going to quit the game to the save, quit the game to the desktop, and then I need to immediately come back here to these files, uh, my save files, select all of them, and then I'm going to cut these and go back to my save place. I'm going to make a new folder for my new save game, call it slot two, why not, go to slot two and put those save files in slot two um, and then go back to the main game path and then as you see there's nothing in here. So now, the next time I want to go play the game, before I launch the game, this is important, you want to make sure you're moving files around not while the game's running. Uh, do not, do not, do not move files around while the game is running, that's a very bad idea, don't do it. Um, but anyway, so say I want to be like, oh today I'm going to play slot two, uh, so I'm going to go in take these files and move them into this game path. Uh, that, that's be what you do. Or if you want to go back, play slot one, uh, just to show you that it works. I'm going to do that. I'm going to take my slot one files, um, just to keep a backup there. I'm just gonna, no, I'm just gonna move them. I'm going to cut them, go back to save games, go here, paste them in there. And so now next time I launch the game, it's ready to play this save character or whatever. So just to demonstrate that I'm going to go back in the game and show you that it works. Okay. So as you can see, we're back in game. Um, with those slot one files loaded in, I can press continue and resume playing. I'll do that just to demonstrate. Um, no, I don't want people to join me. Uh, I'll do that just to demonstrate. Um, but that's exactly what you would do. Uh, you, uh, with this method, you can have theoretically limitless save games, just as many file folders as you want to create. You can have save games. So here we are back in game. And uh, this is exactly when you see you, this video is going to come out. Uh, in advance of the playthrough videos, but um, this is okay. This is exactly uh, this is exactly where I left off. Uh, so no spoilers or try not to spoil anything. So I'm not gonna really move around much. But uh, yep. So this work. That's this method works very well, as you can see. Uh, you can have multiple save games as many as you want. It it stinks that there's no in game. Like I can't load a different save game from the menu. That part kind of stinks. Um, but the, you know, this is the best alternative we have right now. Unfortunately, this is not available on console. This is only, uh, for PC players. Um, if someone figures out how to do this with console, that'd be awesome. And I would gladly show that, uh, I would definitely be interested in that just to know that that's possible. But, uh, so you can only have multiple save games with PC, but at least this way, you know, you can, if you want to let a friend play it, you can plug a controller into your computer and let your buddy play it or whatever. You can play with a controller and let multiple people play and that sort of thing and have multiple save games. Um, so really hope this helped you guys out. Uh, it definitely was helpful to learn this to us and then we thought that maybe other people might find this helpful. Um, so we hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to check out our Fallout 4 immersive mod series if you're into Fallout mods, uh, if you're into, you know, playing Fallout with mods that we also have a Fallout 4 playthrough going on. Be sure to check that out too if you're interested. We also have a Far Cry 5 playthrough if you're interested. Be sure to check that out. If you have any questions or you know are wondering about mods for Far Cry 5, I'm we are very we both are very interested in discussing that. So meet us in the comments. Let's talk about mods for this because uh, we're very excited. One idea that we have is Far Cry 2 in Far Cry 5. That would be so cool. I would love that. Um, so if y'all are interested in that and you want to talk about it, meet us in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching and hope y'all found this video uh, helpful. Later.